Thank you, Pastor. Praise the Lord. Is that all the hallelujah you can give? I said, Praise the Lord. Freedom for you today. Freedom for everyone today. And the modern day Pharaoh will let you go. All is pulled upon your life. Everything is broken today. All those years, the Lord will crush everything. The wonderful name of Jesus will set us free. Let's pray together. Father, we thank you and bless your name. What a glorious God you are. You do not want anyone a brother a sister a son a daughter anyone old or young you don't want anyone to be in bondage to any modern day pharaoh you will release your people tonight in jesus name <clears throat> that wonderful name of Je of jesus will set everyone free Confirm your word in every life tonight. Break every yoke in everybody's life. Lord, set us free from sin, from sickness, from satanic affliction. Confirm your power, miracle upon everyone tonight. In Jesus' name we pray. God bless you. You can sit down. Tonight we are talking on the triumph and the victory of faith in Christ. When you think about triumph, you cannot have triumph if you are bound, your hands are bound, and your feet are bound, and your heart is bound, your soul is bound, your whole personality bound, but it is when it sets you free. And if the sun tonight will set you free, you'll be free indeed. And from that freedom, we have triumph. And then we have victory. How can somebody have victory over enemies? The enemy is loose and the enemy is fighting and is boxing you on the face and the tummy everywhere. And you are bound, your hands are tied, your mouth is closed and your eyes are dim and you do not have any freedom. How can you have victory? The victory comes because the Lord sets you free. And the word faith, faith it is that faith that gives you freedom that gives you forgiveness that gives you salvation that gives you every blessing you need and it is the faith that launches you into the joy of the lord and the word christ there that spells everything for you to be a conqueror you have you need to have christ and for you to overcome in every challenge of life and tonight you overcome tonight i overcome every promise of god we're going to read tonight whether it relates to your soul it relates to your mind it relates to your body the promise of god every promise in the book is yours tonight mine it is mine and all those promises will work wonders in your life tonight in jesus name the triumph and the victory of faith in Christ in first Corinthians chapter 15 verse 57 first Corinthians chapter 15 verse 57 but thanks be to God which giveth present tense continuous which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ look at the father there and look at Christ and look at you and the and, and the Christ our Savior one hand he holds you he says I'm bringing the victory to you now and the other hand he holds the Almighty God and the blessing flows and the victory flows and the triumph flows from God through Christ 
unto you your heart your blessing tonight in jesus name in second corinthians chapter 2 i'm reading verse 14 second corinthians chapter 2 verse 14 now thanks be unto god now not only in exodus not only in joshua not only when they were trying to cross river jordan now at this very time for you your blessing is now your miracle is now your salvation is now the fullness of the lord is now for you it says now thanks be unto god which always look at that always he blessed people yesterday and he's going to bless people tomorrow and he blesses the people who are here today always he says now thanks be unto god which always causes us causes me causes you to have to triumph in christ to triumph in christ those who are outside christ whatever happens to them they are the cause because the blessing the salvation the forgiveness the freedom the totality of what heaven has to offer is in christ you have to come out of the darkness of the world you have to come out of the evil of the world out of the sinful practices of the world you come out and then you come into christ the savior into christ the healer into christ the power of god for man in man and the power of god through man he says you have that triumph in christ and maketh manifest the savor of his knowledge by us in every place look at that in every place in every place those who are here at the alpha location in every place those who are there on radio television in every place those who are there in any church gathering any congregation any community any country any nation as we're connected together are you here about the love of christ the power of christ the mercy of christ and we come into christ in every place that knowledge of christ will bring the deliverance will bring the salvation will bring the healing will bring the freedom we need he tells us in first john chapter 5 reading from verse 4 in first john chapter 5 verse 4 it says for whatsoever whosoever anyone that is born of god overcometh the world whatever is coming from the world that should have destroyed your life it says whosoever is born of god overcometh the world and this is the victory that overcometh the world even our faith as you put your confidence in god your trust in god your faith in god it makes us to overcome every challenge you are brought here tonight you will overcome every pain in your life you will overcome every setback in your life he gives us the victory and he makes you to overcome by the faith we have in christ in verse 5 verse 5 says who is he that overcometh the world who is that can you point to the one that overcometh the world is the believer because he said but he that believeth that jesus is the son of god verse 18 and that one who believes we know that whosoever is born of god sinneth not all have sinned but this person came to the decision 
I, want, I don't want to sin anymore. And I cannot do it by myself. And he calls on the name of Christ. And the name of Christ, there's power in that name. And the blood of Christ, there is power in that name, in that blood. And the power in the blood, in the name of Jesus, sets him free from the sin. He that is begotten of God, keepeth himself. And that wicked one, Toucheth him not, he will not touch you again. The Lord will so preserve you, he will pardon you, and then he protects you and preserves your life. And that wicked one, wherever he's hiding, that wicked one toucheth you not. Once again, the triumph and the victory through faith in Christ. The three things we're looking at. Number one, the holistic victory. That word holistic is related to the word whole. Every area of our lives. Every area in our desire. Every area we want to have triumph. Holistic total complete full it says number one his holistic victory in fresh fullness the fullness that is fresh the fullness that is right now the fullness of the lord that he makes available for everyone in everyone and through everyone his holistic victory in fresh fullness number two his healing virtue by focused faith his healing virtue by focused faith that is that faith that centers on christ that is focused on christ that makes you know that as i look at him looking unto jesus the author and the finisher of my faith as i look unto jesus look unto me all ye the ends of the earth and be ye saved and be ye healed and be ye delivered and be ye set free the healing virtue by focused faith number three is heavenly vaccine against fatal falls vaccine he has it but he's coming from heaven and he puts that in you and his soul his spirit in mind in body within and around he gives you that heavenly vaccine against fatal falls you will not fall you will not fail amen and then because of that heavenly virtue in your life and because of that vaccine that he gives you from heaven then it makes you sage it makes you solid it makes you steadfast it makes you abide in that victory that he has given unto you let's look at number one number one is holistic victory in fresh fullness in john chapter one reading from verse 16 john one verse 16 and of his fullness is full fuller than a river fuller than an ocean it says and of his fullness have we all received look at the ocean is full we we'll drink out of it we we'll take much water out of it it remains full and the love of God is fuller than that and the mercy of God is fuller than that and the grace of God is fuller than that and therefore we come you come I come everybody comes and there's still room for you for another one there's still room for other people because the fullness of God never dries up and of his fullness have we all received and grace for grace grace for grace grace available for you today 
I said grace available for you today and the grace of God will grant you the freedom the forgiveness the salvation he has each in full and it's available for everyone in first John chapter 4 I'm reading from verse 4 first John chapter 4 verse 4 ye are of God little children even those who have just come to the Lord little children and those who receive the Lord as their personal Savior yesterday today and new little children yeah of god the moment you hand over your life to the lord the moment you commit your life unto the lord you are of god the moment you say no to sin no to satan no to all your past bad habits and you say yes to christ the savior the redeemer the one that will wash you whiter than snow that moment you come you become a child of god ye of god tonight it can happen to you that you say yes lord i hand over my life i hand over my soul i hand over my past my present my future i hand over unto you then ye of god little children and i've overcome them because greater is he that is in you actually when you give your life to the lord the savior comes to dwell inside you the healer comes to dwell inside you and the redeemer he comes to dwell inside you the deliverer comes to dwell inside you the one that will support and sustain you and the one that will strengthen you he comes to dwell inside you because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world we're looking at um, Ephesians chapter 3 Ephesians chapter 3 I'm reading from verse 18 there it says may be able to comprehend with all saints what is the breadth and the length and the depth and the height verse 19 the height and to know the love of christ which passeth knowledge which goes beyond knowledge that she might be filled with all the fullness of God. Uh, look at all that the Lord has provided for us. He says all the water in the ocean, as much as you need, everything is for you. The air will breathe fresh and we take in that air. It says, I made that for everybody. I provided that for everybody. As he has provided the water and the air for everyone, he has provided salvation for everyone. He has provided forgiveness for everyone. He has provided freedom for everyone. And he says, we can now have that she might be filled with all the fullness of God. Look at verse 20. In verse 20, now, always now, faith is now. The freedom is now. The forgiveness is now. The fullness is now. Now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think everything all that we're asking all that we're thinking he is able to provide the fullness for you and he says above all that we ask or think according to the power that worketh in us what will the power of god work tonight I said, where will the power of God walk tonight? Okay, let me read that again to you. Verse 20, now, unto him that is able, our God is able. I said, our God is able, able to save, able to heal, able to deliver able to set free able to break every yoke in our lives and it is now when will your salvation come 
now? When will your healing come? When will your victory come? Now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that walketh in us. Nothing can hinder, nothing can disprove the power of God in your life now at this very time. Amen. We are coming to point number two. Point number two is healing virtue by focused faith. When you focus your faith on Christ, you are not looking there or looking here. Your mind, your sight, your eyes are set on Him. You focus on Him. And you know, He cannot fail. Tonight in your life, He cannot fail. Cancer will go away evil disease will go away that terrible thing that have been there for a long time the virtue of heaven and the virtue of christ will come right there into your life tonight you are healed in jesus name look at mark chapter 5 i'm reading from verse 27 mark chapter 5 verse 27 when she had heard of Jesus, she came in the press behind and touched his garment. There were a lot of people there, a crowd, a multitude, the press. And yet, this woman that had issue of blood for 12 long years, she was not distracted. She didn't look here and there. She was not looking at some prominent people there, like Peter, like John, like the mother of Jesus, and all the people there. They were important. Everybody is important. But she focused her faith on Christ. And she said, I'm looking at him. I'm expecting from him. And when I touch the hem of his garment, I shall be made. We'll look at verse 28. In verse 28, for she said, If I may but touch his clothes, I shall be whole. If she wasn't concentrating on Christ, how would she see him to touch? is close if her faith was not focused on Christ Christ the healer Christ the redeemer Christ the breaker of every bondage and you if she wasn't concentrating on Christ that moment at that time how could she touch the clothes for she said if I may touch but it's close. I shall behold. Look at verse 29. In verse 29, and straightway now, immediately, your miracle is coming straightway. Your salvation is coming straightway. As we're looking with your mind, the eyes of your mind, you're looking at Christ, you're concentrating on Christ. You are focused on Christ. You are not looking at any other human power, village power, traditional power, idolatrous power, religious power. You are looking at Christ and Christ alone. Christ the Savior. Christ the Healer. Christ the Deliverer. And straightway the fountain of our blood was dried up it was not superficial healing it was supernatural healing and the very fountain 
of the issue of blood the very fountain of the of the problem the very fountain of the disease the healing was done at that very fountain and then everything was over in your life tonight everything is over your body tonight all those negative things everything is over and in your spirit in your soul where the, the very seat of strength and power in your life you know if you're weak on the inside if at the foundation of your life you're weak then the weakness will spread everywhere but when the lord comes to the very fountain and the very source of your life and he strengthens you there and he saves you there and he heals you there and he delivers you there from the very fountain her blood was dried up and she felt in her body that she was healed of that plague. Verse 30 now, in verse 30, and Jesus immediately knowing in himself that virtue had gone out of him. Healing virtue, heavenly virtue, holistic virtue that clears every problem away that goes to behind that goes behind and all those 12 years where the blood have been flowing consistently and profusely the power of the lord went there and jesus knew that virtue was gone out of him he taunted him about in the press in the crowd and said who touched my clothes you are the one I said you are the one you're touching tonight you stretch out the hand of faith and you touch him you are made whole look at verse 34 in verse 34 and he said unto her daughter thy faith has made thee whole go in peace and be whole of thy plague already she was healed already the fountain of blood had stopped what does this mean behold of thy plague be totally completely perfectly permanently free so that that thing will not come back again the lord is going to heal you tonight and that injury and that infirmity and that plague and that sin that had bothered you all these many years will not come back again in jesus name isaiah chapter 53 i'm reading from verse 4 isaiah chapter 53 verse 4 it tells us surely there's no doubt tonight surely certainly without any shadow of doubt the god who heals is still up above the christ who delivers and heals and is set free is still alive the same yesterday today and forever that's why we can come to him with assurance surely he has born our griefs and carried our sorrows yet we did esteem him stricken smitten of god and afflicted why will god strike smite his only begotten son whom he loves very much because the son volunteered and said yes i know they are sinners and sinners are under the anger indignation and judgment of god and instead of the judgment falling on the sinners instead of the sinners having the anger and the indignation and the punishment for their sin jesus surrendered himself he said i will bear their punishment you mean that i want to strike them I want to put plague on them. I want to have eternal punishment on them. He said, don't. I will bear it for them. That's why God said, because of the love he has for us, he wants to bear our plague, our sickness, 
our disease, our judgment. So instead of waiting to strike us and smite us, him now he was smitten, stricken of God, smitten of God, and afflicted in verse 5. Verse 5 says, But he was wounded, not for himself, for our transgressions. In the plural, every evil thing we have done, every sin we have committed, Christ volunteered. He gave himself so that he will be bruised for us. He was bruised for our iniquities, our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. Now with his stripes, we are healed. Some people think those stripes, they are only for, for, for spiritual salvation. But look at it in Matthew chapter 8 and see the interpretation of the Spirit of God. In Matthew chapter 8 verse 16, when the evening was come, they brought unto him many that were possessed with devils, devils tormenting them, harassing them, afflicting them, that were possessed with devils. And he cast out the spirits with his word and healed all. You see that? He bore the punishment. He bought the plague, he bought the pl uh, pain, he bought the suffering for everyone. And all who come, he healed all that were sick. In verse 17, verse 17, that it might be fulfilled. What we read in chapter 53 of Isaiah, the interpretation is not just uh, bearing the pain, the punishment, of the internal sins and the outward sin, even the consequence of sin, all the plague, all the disease, and all the sicknesses were told this is in fulfillment of what Isaiah had said, saying, Himself took our infirmities and bear our sicknesses. It tells us in First Peter chapter 2. First Peter chapter 2, reading from verse 24. First Peter chapter 2, verse 24. Who is own cell? All our plagues, he bought them his own cell. He took everything away from you. Who is own cell? Bear our sins in his own body on the tree that we, being dead to sins, should live unto righteousness by whose stripes ye were healed. Our healing has come. And we're going to claim that healing tonight. And the moment we focus our faith on Christ, the virtue of healing, the healing virtue will come upon our lives, will be healed, delivered in Jesus' name. In verse 25, verse 25, for ye were a sheep going astray. But, and now, look at that word again, now, at this present time, and now returned unto the shepherd and bishop of your souls. Freedom for you. I said freedom for you. Healing for you. The healing virtue of Christ will come into your life, into your body right now, even here tonight, in Jesus' name. In Luke chapter 6, verse 19. Luke chapter 6. We're looking at verse 19. And the whole multitude sought to touch him and the whole multitude they were not looking at others faces they were looking at christ they had faith in christ and their faith was focused on christ 
and the whole multitude they had different sicknesses and different diseases just like we're here tonight just like those people all over the world over the radio on their telephone set on the television in every congregation in every country multitudes and the whole multitude sought to touch him for there went virtue virtue the whole multitude right left center at the back virtue reached everyone wherever you are tonight the virtue of healing the healing of christ will come to your life in jesus name it says virtue went out of him and healed them all and healed them all and healed them all that healing virtue from christ will never fail in your life it will not fail tonight it will not fail it will come upon you and when it comes upon your life tonight whatever the sickness whatever the disease and whatever the infirmity and whatever pain and whatever hindrance every sin is taken away and you are free tonight in jesus name remember that the whole multitude that sought to touch him for their went virtue out of him and healed them all. we're coming to number three now number three we're looking at his heavenly vaccine against fatal falls as you come to the lord tonight you'll not fall back into sin anymore amen as you come to the Lord tonight, you no, know, somebody said, I fall sick, I fall sick, I fall sick every time, terrible sickness, and I have to take it there, take it there. As you are healed tonight, you will not fall sick into that sickness again in Jesus' name. And you know, somebody said, I fell into the hands of evil doers and I don't know the person that you know touched my life and squeezed my life when I fell into their hands I didn't know they were not a good people clean people I fell into their hands and then now I don't know what will happen again because I keep on falling into their hands and falling into their hands now after the vaccine of heaven comes upon your life you will not fall into their hands anymore you're free you're sheltered you're protected and you are preserved in jesus name and we're looking at john chapter 17 verse 14 john chapter 17 verse 14 i have given them thy word and the world has hated them because they are not of the world even as i am not of the world it will take you away from the pollutions of the world from the pain of the world you know the lies to give people and from all the injury and from every evil thing that the devil in the world used to give people from tonight the yoke is broken and it is the anointing he said he had been anointed because the spirit of god is upon him and with that anointing of the spirit of god upon him he breaks every yoke in your life in jesus name he says they are no more of the world that the world can you know shake them and sift them and uh, crush them and destroy them and control their lives and control their destiny he says they are no more of the world and the god of this world will not control their lives anymore 
will not crush their lives anymore they're not of the world even as i am not of the world in verse 15 verse 15 says i pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world he, he leaves us there because we have good things to do we have the gospel to preach and we have lives to touch and we have a families to raise he said because of what i've given them to do here because of the father has sent me into the world even so have i also sent them into the world because of that it's not taking us away now but that thou shouldest keep them from the evil thou shall keep them from the evil every evil in the world the lord will keep you from them and remember 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 every promise in the book in the bible is yours say every promise in the book is mine and this is the promise that he will keep you from the evil of the world hebrews chapter 7 reading from verse 25 hebrews chapter 7 verse 25 wherefore he is able also to save them to the uttermost the christ who died for us the christ who shed his blood for you is able to save you to the uttermost, no matter how deep you have gone in sin or sickness or suffering, He is able to save, to rescue, to deliver, to set you free completely. Wherefore, He is able also to save them to the uttermost that come unto God by him all you need to do is come and as you come unto God through Jesus Christ that salvation present salvation that salvation perpetual salvation that salvation permanent prevailing salvation that salvation the salvation that leads you and gets you to heaven he is able to save everyone who comes unto God by him, seeing he ever live to make intercession for them. He'll be praying for you as you come to him by as you come to God by him and every blessing you ought to have we are praying you are praying and he is praying and a threefold cord is not quickly easily broken and the line of blessing coming unto you will not be broken in jesus name we're looking at verse 26 in verse 26 for such an high priest became us befitted us is suitable for us who is holy the savior he has given the word and he will not uh, renege on that word he will not break his promise he said everyone that comes to me I will in no wise reject. I will not cast away. I will in no wise refuse. He will save you, everyone that comes. Everyone that comes. The young, the middle aged, and the aged. Such an high priest became us who is holy, harmless. He will not hurt you. He will not condemn you. He will not browbeat you. He will not do anything negative to you. He's harmless. Everyone that comes can expect the goodness of God, the grace of God, the salvation of God, the freedom from God, and the deliverance from the Lord. He's solely and harmless, undefiled, separate from sinners. That's what qualifies him. He didn't have his, his own sin to attack tone form he didn't have any personal sin to plead forgiveness for he's holy he's harmless he's uh, not defiled and he's separate from sinners and made higher than 
the heavens. That's why he sold for you. He, he didn't do anything for himself. He suffered your blame, your punishment, your pollution, everything he has taken away. And his daughter will come to him and to say, Father, I come through Christ, your son, my savior. I need forgiveness. I need freedom. I need the power to go and sin no more. I need the power to be free from all the yoke and everything that bound me before. I need your grace. I need your strength. I need the efficacy of your blood to atone for me. I need that now. And he gives because he has promised that's what he will do. We're looking at Romans chapter 8, verse 34. Romans chapter 8, verse 34. Who is he that condemneth? After you've given your life to the Lord, the devil might whisper and say, Do you think you are saved? Who is Satan? Who is he that condemneth? A neighbor might come to you. I see you are looking happy and joyful. What's the source of your joy? Well, I just received Christ in my heart and the Lord has forgiven me. Ah, you of all people, with all those things I know that you have done and God knows more of what you have done. Why are you deceiving yourself? He has forgiven you. Who is he? Who is that? Who is that one condemning you? Who is that one that is saying your salvation is not genuine? Who are you? Who is he that condemned? And sometimes it's yourself. You become the policeman by yourself to prosecute yourself, to punish yourself. And to doubt your own salvation, who are you? When Christ has saved you, when Christ has received you, when Christ has forgiven you, when Christ has suffered and he has borne everything you want to bear, who are you condemning yourself when Christ has cleared you, cleared your record and set you free? Who is he? That condemneth, it's Christ that died, yea, brother, that is risen again, who is even at the right hand of God, who also maketh intercession for us. He's making intercession for you. He's saying, just rise up, just raise up your hand that you're a candidate for my salvation, for my freedom. And as you do that, who can condemn you and consign you to hell and tell you, even if you pray a hundred times, a thousand times, what you have done, you have to go to hell to be punished. Christ says, no, because you are the one he is praying for as you have focused faith in him. He also has focused attention on you because he's now at the right hand of God making intercession for you look at verse 37 there in verse 37 nay in all these things in the midst of what Satan may say what neighbors may say what your own ignorant heart may say in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us he loves me he loves me he loves me because of that he went to the cross and he conquered for you and he said it is finished your condemnation finished your guilt finished your doubts finished your suffering finished because now in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. Second Peter chapter 1. In Second Peter chapter 1, I'm looking at verse 3. According as his divine power, he has given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness. Salvation he has given 
freedom he has given forgiveness he has given power to live a victorious life he has given power to live a triumphant life he has given power to stay happy to say joyful power that comes from the hope that you're on your way to heaven is giving everything everything pertaining to life everything we need in this earth in life he has given unto us all things all things all things that pertain unto life and uh, Godliness, that godliness, another word for that is holiness. Everything we need to live in holiness and righteousness and godliness he has given everything. But we must come and take what he has given. And it's all by grace. It's all totally free. And he gives us in fullness. And we come to the Lord. And then he says, through the knowledge of him that has called us to glory and virtue look at verse 4 in verse 4 it says whereby are given unto us exceedingly great and precious promises he has given unto us exceeding great and precious promises remember all the promise is in the book in the book is mine all the promise the promise of salvation of freedom of healing of deliverance of victory of triumph all the promises in the book are mine and it says whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises that by these promises ye might be partakers of the divine nature having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lost tonight everything is available for you tonight the windows of heaven are opened for you tonight all the promise of freedom and the power for freedom all the promise for forgiveness and the opportunity of having total forgiveness all the provision of heaven salvation forgiveness and freedom and the joy of salvation everything available tonight available in fullness available with focused faith and available to prevent you and to preserve you from any fatal fall and as it's available come and take yours I say come for your freedom I say come for your salvation and the moment you raise up your hand and you say Lord I'm here uh, that, that's not difficult you make up your mind actually it's not just your hand if your heart does not lift up your hand your hand will not go up if your conviction if your decision does not raise that hand the hand will not go up if your faith and your confidence in the Lord does not push up that hand, if your mind is not responding, you're not raise up the hand, but you indicate you have decision in your heart, you have the confidence in God, you know, you have the knowledge that He has provided the forgiveness the salvation the freedom for you is then your heart will say why don't you raise up that hand your heart is saying i agree i accept i take jesus as my personal savior you will do that tonight and your sins will be forgiven you will do that tonight and total freedom will come to you amen another amen make it three like my three points another amen it's bowed and eyes closed oh, why do you close your eyes to think through all that you have heard all the provision of the Lord eyes closed this is mine eyes closed
this promise is for me i close the closing of the eyes makes you to think through and to think about what you have heard and to say now i concentrate on christ i focus my mind my faith on christ i want this christ i want him to be my savior i want to be free from all the ch chains and shackles of the past you close your eyes eyes close you bend your head in humility before the lord and you say not me if god has made all this plan for my salvation who am i to reject if god has taken from eternity taking note of me in humility i bow my head i close my eyes and i say lord i cannot say no to heaven i cannot say no to the almighty i cannot say no to the one who lost me and he wants to save me it's bowed eyes closed you have considered it now that salvation is available for you that forgiveness is available for you the freedom is available for you please raise up your hand to heaven you're saying lord here am i i accept here am i i believe here am i i confess christ as my savior raise up that hand as you are raising up the hand stand up stand up stand up for jesus you're coming into the kingdom a citizen of the kingdom now all your past cleansed all the guilt taken away all the stain washed away and it gives you freedom from heaven you raise up your hand you stand up i stand up standing up for jesus and i'm standing on the promises of god that what he has said he will do what he has said he will fulfill standing on the promise that cannot fail lord i come lord i come tell the lord right there open your mouth and tell the lord even when it's quiet prayer he can hear it's by your side he's praying for you he wants to save you now lord i come to you and i come fully i come completely i come without going wanting to go back to anything in the world lord i come that's why i stand on your promise on your promise that cannot fail that's why i stand on the promise of forgiveness and freedom and fullness lord you're not going to forgive me partially you're going to forgive me fully thank you lord thank you lord thank you lord standing on the promise on the word that cannot fail we're going to pray together now father in the mighty name of jesus we know you're a faithful god anyone that comes to you you will in no wise in no way for any reason reject these have come out of darkness out of sin out of the guilt of the past these have come and they have called upon your name they want freedom they want forgiveness they want salvation give it unto them in jesus name confirm the forgiveness confirm the salvation confirm the freedom in their soul in their spirit in their mind in jesus name lord make it permanent that now they become different new creatures in christ in jesus name thank you lord because i know we know it is done heaven knows it is done we on earth we know it is done confirm it in every heart lord in jesus mighty name we pray another amen a good good amen 
keep on standing brothers and sisters uh, if you're come, giving your life to the lord now our officiating moderating uh, overseer tonight will come and lead us after that after this counseling period by the grace of god i'll come back again uh, and you'll have freedom from every sickness and disease in your life in your body in jesus name congrats keep standing keep standing our leaders please go after them quickly don't don't preach just take their data names address phone number email that they are on that slip quickly don't don't waste time yet don't be in a hurry don't make any mistake if you make mistakes you have missed them because tonight you receive sms Quickly, choristers join them. Those who are trained the other day on Tuesday were trained how to how to handle them. Be meticulous, be focused. They can write, write for them, write in capital letters. Don't make mistake. Don't miss any 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 digits. Their phone number. You know how many digits. Their names properly written, then you sign your name also that you are the you are the data collector. Quickly, but not too slow, but meticulously done. Not to miss anybody any of them. If you didn't get up, you're not born again, please do, because you don't know when you will die. Christ is coming, maybe you don't know. You didn't get up, but you're not born again, you're a drunk, you tell lies, you're a dupe. You're immoral. Still get up now. Still get up because you don't know what happened after now. Please cancel us. You fast and yet very meticulous. Their names properly written, addresses, the phone number, Airtel, MTN, or whatever. Properly written on that box. You know, the box is about 11 or so. Make sure it's, 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 it's accurate and complete. Don't make any mistake. Make mistake, you have lost them. No mistake at all. Those, those sitting down, I'm sure you're born again. Be pray. What do you want tonight? What do you want? What do you want? Why are you here? It's a night of victory and triumph. If you are watching online and you, are, you have given your life to Christ this night, there's a link there, GCK hq.org slash connect and fill the forms there so we're going to assist you further if you're watching online you're born again are you in america are you in canada are you in your rooms what are you are you in africa east africa south africa what are you follow through what are you doing here the same thing you do there in all the state in nigeria the same thing we are doing here now that's why the pastor is laboring, sacrificing his time and, and energy for the souls. That's major. So do the same thing over there. No distraction. Wherever you are in Africa, in, in Europe, in Australia, whatever your ta time frame, please, whatever you are doing here now, same thing you will do there to capture all the converts of, the, of, 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 of tonight. Please. Do that quickly. Remember, also have um, uh, banquets on the second, and of course tomorrow by 3 p.m. All the converts will meet him by the main church there for a luncheon by 3 p.m. Also, if you are listening via the radio or television, and you just give your life to Christ now, there's a number I will give you now. Send SMS or WhatsApp point plus two three four nine one five four four. Triple four nine two six three. I'll say it again. Plus two three four nine one five triple four nine two six three. A special online banquet is same second of July, three PM. Some 2 p.m. as the case may be. 
So all the converts, remember you'll be there. Please go ahead now. If you are true, cluster ahead. Let's see the, the flag. If you are true, by my right. If you are true, indicate now. Pastor will come for miracle prayer. Tonight, every element here, every disease will vanish away tonight. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying it just for saying sake. You will see it yourself. Not tomorrow, this night. This night. Those sitting down, just be expectant, waiting for the prayer of the pastor after this session now. If you are true now, down, down over there, indicate now, indicate the cluster head there, indicate all the cluster heads, please be there. Don't come out, don't come back. Still be there with them to bring them out after pastor's prayer. Okay, that's all right. In the, that's all right. Any other? How about the extreme there? By my left, extreme. Where's the flag when they are done? It's done. Okay, it's done. All right, pastor is already on, on, on the podium. Praise the Lord. I said, praise the Lord. We we'll stand up now to receive a miracle. Remember, the healing virtue. The multitude sought to touch him because virtue went out of him and he healed them all. He will heal you. Yeah. We have focused faith in Christ. If he can do it, if he could do it yesterday, he can do it today. If he can do it tomorrow, he can do it today. It depends on the time you want your miracle, your healing. He's done everything that he ought to do, that the Father expects him to do. For you to be healed, to be set free, and to be delivered now, it's in your hand. And she said, if I may but touch his clothes, I shall be made whole. And Jesus said, daughter, your faith makes you whole. My brother there tonight, my sister there tonight, son, daughter there tonight, faith makes you whole. Whole. I believe. I believe. And you believe. And if two of us shall agree as touching anything that we ask him, you believe, I believe, and he's making intercession for you, it will be done in every life in Jesus' name. Close your eyes now. When you close your eyes, you are looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. And he never denies faith. He always answers faith. Father, in Jesus' mighty name, we come to you through Christ whom you cannot deny. And we come for the healing, for the freedom, for the deliverance of everyone. We're asking, Lord, touch everyone, heal everyone in Jesus' name. Deranged mind. Those who have mental issue, confusion in the brain, in the mind, touch them, I command that confusing spirit come out in jesus name those blind eyes the lord created our eyes to see and is still the creator today lord do a creative work in the eyes of all those who are blind cataract glaucoma whatever it is there set them free from blindness Make them see in Jesus' name. 
those who are deaf and dumb i'm asking lord that deafness will vanish away the dumbness will vanish away release their focal cause and release their hearing ability so that they will hear clearly they will see clearly in jesus name and those who have any swelling in their body goiter and swollen tummy and ear yeah, swollen legs any swelling in the body that the people desire that you take away you cannot fail take every swelling away in jesus name the pain of internal sickness and open wound lord i pray that cancer will be healed right now the pain of that cancer the pain of that ulcer and the pain of internal wound lord i pray in your healing power take all those things away and set them free in jesus name stone in the kidney foreign objects in the body fibroid in the body all those things that block the tubes all those uh, strange objects lord i pray touch your people take everything away in jesus name the bones cracking with pain the bones suffering with pain lord i pray whatever the cause of the pain inside the bones take everything away set your people free the noise internal noise disturbing noise for anyone there silence those voices and the noise inside them in jesus name and the skin disease those terrible rashes that cannot be treated with medication lord i pray the skin disease or skin cancer take everything away in jesus name lord for everyone everyone here everyone online everyone in every congregation linked up to the message and to christ our savior now heal everyone in jesus name let there be miracle healing deliverance and the joy of freedom in jesus name here now everywhere let freedom ring to my left to my right at the back in the middle in front over the radio television let freedom ring freedom in every life healing in every life deliverance in every life thank you lord thank you lord it is done all your sorrows and sicknesses and infirmities they are finished in jesus name confirmation manifestation demonstration in your life in jesus name we pray amen your god your miracle shall we say amen